David Warner, who's best known for a number of roles in films including Omen, Titanic, and Tron, has died at the age of 80. His family have issued a statement confirming the news of his death, adding they have been left heartbroken. The British actor died on Sunday from a cancer-related illness at Denville Hall, a care home for those in the entertainment industry. His family said in a statement, over the past 18 months he approached his diagnosis with a characteristic grace and dignity, his family said in a statement given to the BBC. He will be missed hugely by us, his family and friends, and remembered as a kind-hearted, generous and compassionate man, partner and father, whose legacy of extraordinary work has touched the lives of so many over the years. We are heartbroken. Tributes have since poured in online for the beloved actor as pals and fans alike offered their condolences. Director Edgar Wright penned, very sad to hear of David Warner's passing, an actor with a huge legacy on stage and screen and unforgettable roles in, Morgan, a suitable case for treatment, Straw Dogs, From Beyond the Grave, The Omen, Time After Time, Time Bandits, Drawn, Titanic and much more. He will be missed. Toby Haydock wrote, David Warner has died. Absolutely my favorite actor as a young, aspiring actor, his ability to convey glassy fragility or cold amorality without doing anything facially was a true acting gift. I'm so proud that I later had the pleasure of working with and knowing him. R.I.P. Sir. Lisa Bowerman commented, Good night sweet prince. May flights of angels. Heartbroken. Matt Bevan added, heartbreaking to hear that David Warner has passed away, a legend of film and television. The actor has enjoyed a long-standing career in film and television. He recently appeared as naval eccentric Admiral Boom in Mary Poppins Returns. David, also played Billy Zane's villainous sidekick Spicer Lovejoy in James Cameron's 1997 blockbuster Titanic. His first on-screen credit was in 1962 and his career spanned six decades. James Martin and partner Louise Davis in Rare Sighting Latest Sure and Stone, 64, Leaves little to the imagination in racy topless pic pictures in Mal Clooney, 44, stuns in white lace dress for date night with George Hollywood, David's roles included villainous characters, including in films like The 39 Steps, 1978, and Time Bandits, 1981. Fans of the beloved actor will recall his character, photographer Keith Jennings who met an inglorious end in 1976's supernatural classic, The Omen. In an interview for a program on horror films fronted by Mark Gatiss, when asked if he knew what had happened to his severed head, Warner deadpanned, I lost it in the divorce. The on-screen star also played Bob Cratchit in George C. Scott's 1984 adaptation of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. David also enjoyed a successful television career, with roles in Wallander, playing Kenneth Branagh's father, Penny Dreadful, Ripper Street, Doctor Who and the original Twin Peaks among others. He was also known for playing various characters in the Star Trek franchise and starred in several Doctor Who audio plays. He went on to win an Emmy Award in 1981 for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Miniseries or Special for his portrayal of Pomponius Falco in the television miniseries Masada. The Rada Train British star was also renowned for title roles in the Royal Shakespeare Company's Henry VI and Hamlet early on in his career. 
He is survived by his beloved partner Lisa Bowerman, his much-loved son Luke and daughter-in-law Sarah, his good friend Jane Spencer Pryor, his first wife Harriet Evans and his many gold-dust friends.